the integrator circuit using 741 IC okay so this is 741 IC and uh, from this we can see that the input is provided from pin number 2 through a register and this from pin number 2 we have connected a feedback capacitor this is called feedback capacitor C of 0 0.1 microfarad and this is connected to the output this is output pin number 2 is pin number 3 is grounded so pin number 3 is grounded and we will uh, we'll provide the power supply through pin number 7 and 4 that is uh, 12 volt at pin number 7 and minus 12 volt at pin number uh, 4 so first of all we will check the power supply so this is dual power supply so we have to check it first of all so this is dual power supply and you can see that this, uh, this plus is 12 volt and from this minus negative power supply is minus 7.19 pretty good uh, equal to minus 12 volt you can connect the power supply now you can connect the power supply so this is uh, plus 12 volts so we can connect it at point pin number 7 so this is pin number 7 so this is pin number 7 this is common ground point so we will connect it at separate points so this is uh, common ground point we have connected separately and this is uh, this is this is minus 12 volt so we will connect it at pin number 4 this is resistor resistor of value 10 kilo ohm so we have to connect from pin number 2 so this is pin number 2 and we have to provide the input from this pin only this is capacitor of uh, value 0 0.01 microfarad you can see here 0.1 microfarad okay. 0 0.1 microfarad so we have to connect it from pin number 2 so from pin number 2 so this is this is a positive terminal this is negative terminal you can see a smaller in one negative so we can connect it from pin number 2 to the output that is pin number 6 so this is pin number 6 we can connect it so at pin number 2 uh, we have to provide input signal so this is input from this uh, signal generator so this is input signal we will connect it at pin number uh, register point from through pin number 2 so this is the input also we have to check this input uh, whether uh, this signal is of what value and what frequency so we will check it on the CRS so from this for this we are checking from this channel number 1 so this we have to connect at this we have to short it first of all so we can short it and again we have to check the output so we can check output uh, from pin number from uh, from pin number 6 on the CRO so that is on the second channel of the CRO so this is second channel of the CRO over which we can check the output of the uh, amplifier so this will be connected at pin number 6 this is pin number 6 we can connect it now we have to ground all the common points so these are the common points of CRO of the signal generator and CRO props so these are the common points we have to connect them commonly so now we have connected all the common points common ground points and we will connect it at the this separate common point again we have to ground the pin number 3 this is pin number 3 so we have to ground the pin number 3 so we can ground it like this so this is pin number 3 so we can ground it from here to here and now we can check the output ok so uh, we have connected all the connections so from pin number uh, pin number 3 is grounded here so pin number 3 is grounded here you can see this is 10 km resistor this is 0.1 microfarad so now we will check the output so, so for that we have to switch on the CRO now we can switch on the CRO and we can check the outputs Okay, so this is the out, this is this is input this one is the input and this one is the output because we have provided the sinusoidal input that's why the output is sinusoidal because uh, because you know the integration of sinusoidal is integration now we will change we can also change the inputs input function so that our output function will also be changed so from this uh, from this signal generator we can change the uh, sinusoidal to a square wave so if we provide the square wave so we can check the output because you know the integration of a constant in constant that is this one is constant because this uh, this is a square wave so a square wave this constant will be integrated and it will give the, give up a ramp signal so this will be a ramp signal so uh, for the for input a, a square wave the output will be a ramp signal 